All right, so what we're looking at here is a little quickie tutorial on how to play uh, Fuck Her Gently by Tenacious D, video I just put out. Um, really, it, it works well for the Merlin. There's only one C chord that's used right in the end when he's doing the ha thing. We can just avoid that and be done with it. Otherwise, the rest of the song works really, really well. It's basically, it's basically two patterns. Though there's a slight change, kind of a bridge, I guess, after the first um, verse. But I'll show you what I mean uh, in a second here. But let's look at the chords first. Uh, for the verse, the first bit of the song, you don't always have to whatever her hard, etc., etc. It's four chords. First chord we're going to use is the D, which I play with my middle finger on the uh, second fret, first two strings on the bottom. Right, so that's our D. The reason I play it like this is that our next chord is F sharp minor, and to play that we want to bar the second fret. Now you can do this. I'm not, I, I suck at bars, so I try to avoid them if I can. The way I play it is the same way I make a D chord on the ukulele. I've mentioned this in a lot of my videos. I keep my second finger planted, and then I bar the top two strings on the second fret with my pointer finger, right? So then I go like this, D, F sharp minor, D, F sharp minor. So that makes it a nice, easy transition, and it also, again, it's a nice transition to your G, your A, your E, right? E, A, E, A, you can do the same way. So that's why I play it this way. So we start off with a D. Let's, let's get back to the song here. D, and then we make our F sharp minor. The next chord is an E minor, which uh, on the Merlin we play the same as an E, which is a bar of the first fret. So it's a nice and easy chord transition if you play it like I do. Right, just slide it right back and forth. Now again, another reason I like this particular finger position is now that we're in our E minor, or E, when I want to play the next chord, which is the A, I just lift my finger a bit so it's no longer doing the bar. E minor, A. E minor, A. So for the verse, this is what we're looking at. We're looking at D, we're looking at F sharp minor, slider up, E minor, and then A. <clears throat> That's it. Now there's one verse in the beginning, it's like this. You don't always have to fuck her hard. In fact, sometimes it's not right to do. Sometimes you got to make some love. Fucking give her some smooches too. Right? So nice and easy. I just play two strums down. Right? You can get fancier if you want, but that works for me. Now the next bit here, um, I'm going to call it a bit of a bridge because it's the second pattern, but he does something a little differently here. He plays the first set of chords, the first two chords, twice. Although in the rest of the song, he, he plays it a little bit differently. So the way he plays it here is we're going to jump to our B minor. B minor is the second string first fret and the top string uh, second fret. Right, so we're looking at here and here. Right, now from here it's a bit of a jump. We're going to jump to our G, which is the bar of the third fret. Again, I'm going to change my finger position to playing the bottom two strings on the third fret with my middle finger and barring the top two with my pointer finger. That way, when I do jump to other chord patterns, again, my second finger there, my middle finger is always planted so I can find my D, I can find my A, my E is so much easier. Right, so let's take a look here. So we have B minor, then we have G, and then like I said here he does it twice. B minor, G, then we switch to a D, right, again just, I, I lift my pointer finger off and slide my finger up one fret to the bottom two strings of the second fret, so I have my D again, and then I slide one more time down to the first fret and put my pointer finger on the top string, A. So it sounds like this. Sometimes you, <clears throat> it sounds like this. Sometimes you got to squeeze. Sometimes you got to say please. Sometimes you have to say hey. Right? And that's it. So the pattern is E minor, G, D minor, G, D 
D, A. And then we go back to the verse again, right? So then we have our D, F sharp minor, E minor, A. Right? The same as we were the first verse, right? Now here's where it changes a bit again. So we do that one time, we go through, okay, um, uh, we get back to our B minor. We have the, and then you say, hey, I brought you flowers. But instead of doing the second B minor and G, this time we just go straight to the D A. So it's B minor, G, D, A. We repeat it. B minor, G, D, A. And that's it. That's the whole song all the way through. Um, until you get to the last little bit at the end, which, uh, again, I cut out the C, but I'll show you that right at the end. Let's go through the entire song here. Um, starting with the first verse, you don't always have to, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through with the chords instead of the, the words. You guys can look up the words. Don't, okay, here, D, F sharp minor, E minor, A. Sharp minor, E minor, A, B minor, G, B minor, G, D, A. Back to the verse. D, F sharp minor, E minor. That's that weird one again. Again, okay. So we do our B minor, G, D, A. The next one, he does the. I've got something in my teeth. Could you get it out for me? That's fucking teamwork. So that kind of just. It, it's a, it's the same chord pattern, but it's a little bit slower. So it's. Uh, Wait a minute, Sally. I think I've got something in my teeth. Could you get it out for me? That's fucking teamwork. So yeah, it is. It is the same chord pattern. All right, and then back to our D, F sharp minor, D, F sharp minor, E minor, A, right? So it basically follows those two patterns all the way through with the exception of one extra B minor and G uh, when he does that. Sometimes you got to squeeze, right? Then right at the end, he says, but then I'm going to fuck you ha right and he goes on and on so it's I'm gonna we're gonna go to it I'm gonna E minor I'm gonna fuck A U G ha ha and then once we extend out it's a D ha so we're going E minor A G D right at the end best place to see these chords the way I see them when I'm teaching them to you guys is to go to cordy.com search for the song it's right in front of me you can transpose the chords to get it into the key of D so you can look at it exactly the way I'm looking at it as opposed to me putting images and stuff on the screen which just takes a lot of time um, watch my video and have that page open at the same time so you can see the lyrics you can see the chords you can see how they change and where they change, and you'll learn way faster, I guarantee it. Anyway, there's my not-so-quick tutorial on... Uh